my theory about time. <clears throat> okay. I think that there are two different ways to time travel. The first one being traveling to a different timeline. The second one being traveling back or forward in time through your own timeline. Let me explain. I'm going to first start out with travel to a different timeline or a different universe. Imagine that this pencil is your timeline, and this red drumstick right here is another timeline. And these two timelines may be interlocked, so that way, no matter where time moves, or whether it moves or not, I don't, I'm not sure yet. So, uh, when you want to travel to a different time, you can jump from one timeline right here to another. And these timelines might not be in the same spot. Like, time can move slower, it can move quicker, it could be an entirely different history. History could have played out entirely different in this timeline. But there might be identical timelines out there too that you can jump to and you'll end up in a different spot. There are, there are a few pros and cons of this. And there's a pro, which was... An Avengers Endgame where you don't mess up your own timeline. And that's a that's also a con too, because let's say you want to change something for the better in your own timeline. You travel back in time and do something. It isn't gonna do anything to your own timeline. And uh you couldn't you might not even be able to do what you wanted in the first place because it could be an entirely different history that played out in that timeline. Now second, you could travel back in time in your own timeline. Now, my theory as to how this works is, now, I know this isn't consistent because the pencil was your own timeline, but, what was it? I, I don't know, I don't remember. Let's say that this drumstick right here is your own timeline, and you are right here. You could, um, you could find a way to travel forwards or backwards in your own timeline. And, you could mess up your own timeline really bad, like the butterfly effect, if you haven't heard of that, where you flip over a stone and humanity never exists because of a chain reaction. So this time travel isn't really... I'd, I'd say that's a lot more risky towards you. At, at the moment, there aren't very many known ways, if, if any, to travel into a different timeline or a different universe. But there are a few theoretical ways that you could travel forwards and backwards in time. I'd probably say that the simplest way to travel forward in time is suspended is suspended animation. This is where you find a way to basically freeze yourself in time. Like you stop you, like you stop yourself from aging or thinking or anything. And you just sit there in a chamber that's designed for suspended animation. Until you're in the time that you want to be in. There are some cons that are if you want to travel back in time. Uh, if you haven't invented that yet, then you're stuck there. And that and uh, if someone wants to sabotage your time traveling operation, then they could uh, then they could easily just break the chamber and kill you. There is another way to travel forward and backwards in time. So if you get a uh, if you get a clock that uses cesium atoms, I think it is, that are really precise, and then you give one to an astronaut on a space station going really quickly, and they give one to a guy on Earth, and they start at the same time, and stop at the same time, the astronaut's clock is going to be different because he was traveling faster. Like, okay, l let's say that this drumstick right here, both this drumstick and I are traveling through time. We are, like, we are experiencing time and we are moving forward in time. But when I do this, I just move a little bit faster than this drumstick. So now I'm in a different time than this drumstick, but it's so negligible that I can still interact with it and it's still here. And, uh, and, uh, here's the problem, though, with that one. It's very hard to get fast, like, to get as fast as you need to go to time travel. Because, uh, it, it's actually impossible with the technology we have now to reach the speed of light. I really hope that, that this helped you understand, or at least this explained to you the way that I think about time travel better.